So I see here that you've had some lab work done. Last week, we ran you for a broad spectrum of deficiencies, and what I'm seeing here is that, well, right now, we're seeing an increasing number of cases of this nature. My vitamin D? D is good. My hemoglobin? No, the blood is good. It's gotta be my liver then. Physically, you're in good health. But there's one thing that troubles me. Um, you are testing positive for racism and borderline white supremacy disorder. Racist? Are you a janitor or something? You are telling me I'm racist? No, 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 no. I thought you were just gonna take my blood pressure and leave when you came in here. Is there medicine I can take? I don't, what are you saying? <sighs> Let's take a look at some charts. I'm fine. Here. I'm fine. No, you are not fine. You're a narcissist, clinically. I am like the least racist person that I know. That may be part of the problem. I love black people. I have neighbors who are black. My best friend is black. Yeah, um, let's talk about some treatment options. Are you sure it's not my liver? I've been drinking a lot. There are plenty of resources available for learning about this diagnosis, such as group counseling, documentaries, watching the news outside of Fox. The cure for racism is still unknown, but there are some things that you can do to stop the perpetuation of this illness. Let's take a look at some charts over here. Discriminatory lending, Eurocentric curriculum, housing discrimination, police brutality. We see it every day on the news. Racial profiling, the same way you racially profiled me. You asked me, was I a janitor? Do it look like I clean up stuff? Does this have something to do with those protests? She's gonna need more help than I thought. Racism has permeated every cell in your body. You ever wonder why you clutch your purse when you see black people? Yes, that right there. It's because your arm is racist. That clench. That is the racist cells in your arm going into your muscles causing the contraction. Like that. You know why you have those racist spurts? It's in your lungs. This is stage three racism. And if you're still not convinced, we can do a few supporting screen questions to help me figure out the best course of treatment for you. Yes, anything. How do you feel about the NBA? Shut up and dribble. <laughs> Begin reading. All lives matter. Yeah, you can get your crying out now because you're not allowed to cry during treatment. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I don't want to be a racist. I'm a good person. Uh, uh, uh. As your caring physician, I cannot support that behavior. You are not the victim. You are not the victim. <laughs> the end goal for you is wellness. And frankly, the end goal for you is for you to realize and wake up and understand your place in this caste system that we call race. Does that make sense? Can I just tell people that I have bipolar disorder instead? Mm. Can you write me a prescription for Xanax or something? I mean, I came all this way. Um, listen, I got work to do. I'm a doctor. So this is for you. Here's some resources, information and documentaries that you can watch for free. 
Let's start your treatment now. Symptoms of racism include rage-induced blackouts, arguments with loved ones about phrases such as defund the police or Green New Deal. Not everyone's racism is the same. You might have relapsing remitting racism, secondary progressive racism, or primary progressive racism, but everyone has a different experience.